this next topic, we've got a list, a list of differences of all the differences between a Tesla Model 3 ludicrous performance and the all-wheel drive version. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Mike, cyberowners.com. He posted this, new Model 3 ludicrous upgrade versus the new all-wheel drive. Here's everything that's listed that's different between the current all-wheel drive and what's supposed to be on the brand new performance ludicrous. Here's what it is. Performance seats with ventilations. They look amazing. I would concur. The performance seats in the brand new ludicrous are pretty sick. They're almost as cool as like the Model S Plaid ones. And no, no, I gotta say, if the Model 3 performance comes under $55,000, it's gonna be hard for me not to put a deposit down because it just seems like such an exciting vehicle, uh, certainly on how it looks and everything. Number two, upgraded suspension and brakes. We know that the Model 3 performance is going to have active electric suspension dampening. So this will be make this will make this might make it feel more comfortable and definitely more sporty. We got forged performance wheels. This was overhyped, I think, because I think all performance wheels are forged, but maybe I'm wrong with that. But yes, comes with new warped wheels that are forged performance wheels. We got carbon fiber interior. That's kind of the same as was before. We got a new drivetrain, drivetrain and a rumor zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds allegedly and i certainly think that makes sense and we can see that there's a lot more upgrades in the model 3 performance versus the current all-wheel drive version versus the old model 3 performance versus the old all-wheel drive really there wasn't much i mean this list is kind of wrong yes it's quicker larger brace and larger wheels but don't forget you get these cool aluminum pedals you get the cool carbon fiber spoiler and uh, i guess the suspension was basically Basically the same. So they've really made a lot of enhancement and updates. And so this is why Mike Cyber Owners is saying something tells me that this is going to be more than a simple $5,000 premium over the all wheel drive like the old one was. Because if you take a look at the current or the current Model 3 Highland, you will see that uh, it certainly is priced, I think, like 47 or 48. Let's see, 47740. So I guess we could see like a 54. That's what, seven grand more? I could see that being realistic. And uh, certainly that would be nice because it'd be under that $55,000 threshold, which is only half of what the vehicle needs to qualify for the tax rate. You got to remember battery and manufacturing restrictions still apply to that. So we'll see if it actually qualifies for that. And if you're just, ca just in case you're wondering all the different things, here's another list from Tesla Newswire of the Model 3 Ludicrous. But let me know, when do you think this Model 3 Ludicrous is actually coming out? Do you think it's going to be April 20th for 20? That would be a hilarious day if it actually is that day. It could be that day. I mean, certainly around that time, it's going to be right before the earnings call. But I actually asked all of you out there, when do you think the Model 3 Ludicrous performance is coming out? And so an overwhelming 55% said 420, which 420 is this Saturday. So pretty interesting there. But I guess there's only a couple of people that know exactly when, or not more than a couple of people. But uh, when we see a bunch of those reviews come out on YouTube from like MKHB and like all the different reviewers that reviewed the Cybertruck early on, and that's when you'll know that the Model 3 Highland Ludicrous is actually out. Uh, second place came out, came in at uh, 424 or after. So maybe this is thinking that they're going to let the month close because there's going to be potentially an Osborne effect. So maybe they're going to let that month close before releasing the Model 3 Ludicrous because I can tell you there's probably going to be a a lot of people on the sidelines that have Model 3 long range orders that once they see the Model 3 Ludicrous, they're going to they're going to say, hmm, and maybe try and convert and change their order or just hold off on their Model 3 long range. So maybe that's what they might push it all the way till May 1st. I hope they don't, but uh, you never know at the end of the day what they'll actually do. And they could change it. They could be thinking they're going to do it on April 20th and then change it at the last second. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking. 